what came to our doctor first. Thank you for clicking on this video to watch. That is for the anchors. You have heard me say multiple times, I have never taken anchors before. But content is content and medicine never changed. But I have taken a bunch of blood exams, so I know how they think. I know what they pay attention to when they set questions. I know how they set questions. So always you see me set like broad style questions because I'm using the content. I'm trying to think like them. And I've seen them. I've done multiple board exams. So I know how they think, what they look for when they set the question. Remember, there's some questions you should be able to answer. So there's some that require critical thinking. Those are the ones they put it there to weed out and say, hey, yeah. You master the content. And this is one of them. You take in all the content, all the information you know about that topic, and they put it together, and they want you to use your critical thinking analysis to think that, hey, why would the board put these four things together and ask me this question? That means there's something I need to know about it. And that was the purpose of this question. Once again, never taking the anchors before, but I know how the board think. I've taken a bunch of board exams. And when I see these kind of questions on the community page, there's a reason why I'm trying to poke your mind, stimulate you to work harder. Let's get to it. And then we can analyze the content to see how much content is in one simple question. We do the following clients need a thyroid treatment. Why would I tell you that? That's the buzzword. Why would I tell you somebody need thyroid treatment? That means there's something about each of them that can trap you. And this is planning to admit several clients to the med surgery ward from the emergency room. Who would you put in the private room? I give you a sickle cell client, client in visual occlusive crisis. I give you a chicken pox patient who has crusted lesions. Those are all buzzwords. I give you bullseye rash, right? Buzzword and atragia. I never told you what it is, but there's something there, just the bullseye. I give you bacteria conjunctivitis and I put antibiotic there. Connect the dot. Connect the dot. It's like case studies. They give you case studies. Would well, you know how the case studies came about? A bunch of small contents put together. Then you connect the dot, dot and it becomes like a picture. Sickle cell patient. They are spleen. It's usually small. We call them a splenic. They may not have a spleen, even though they have a spleen, because of multiple infarct. The, this vessel occlusive diseases causes infection, like a heart attack to the spleen, and the spleen becomes small and small and small, and it doesn't do its function anymore. The spleen is usually good for encapsulated organism, organism that have capsules on them, like hemophilus, mycoplasma. They are able to clear them out of our system. So if anybody. When you remove the spleen, they need immunization for hemophilus, strep, macroplasma, those organisms because they're very dangerous. Somebody who has a sickle cell and a visual occlusive disease, we think the spleen has had multiple infarct. The spleen does not work. So they are at risk of infection. Infection, high risk of infection. You don't want to put it with anybody that will make them sick. Sickle cell clients always have problem with infection because of the spleen. So this patient's spleen does not work the way it's supposed to, right? Therefore, I don't want to put that patient near anybody. So they get semi-private room or private room because of this situation. Chicken post patient, after seven, eight days, they, they are no more infectious. Another reason they are no more infectious, crusted lesion. That is the key. That is the password. You saw crusted lesion. Uh, 
the bullseye rash bring your content. Which rash is con considered bullseye? So that's the rash. And here you have the clear area like that. And that is the bullseye. This is what? Lyme disease. Lyme disease is not infectious. You see, bullseye and atrasia is the Lyme disease. It's not infectious. Bacteria come to the virus, very infectious. But after 20, uh, 48 hours of antibiotic, you're good. After 24 hours of antibiotic, the kid can go to school. So if he can go to school 48 hours, there's no need. Private room. Guys, which one do you think is your right answer? I explained the content to you. Sickle cell, basal-occlusive disease, that's the way you see it. You said, this is the way if I'm taking the test. Sickle cell, basal-occlusive disease, oh, the spleen is infected. They are risks of infection. Therefore, I got to put them separate. Chicken pox, crust lesion, you are not infectious. Bullseye, atrasia, you are not infectious. Bacterial conjunctivitis, 48 areas of antibiotic, you're good. Since you can go into school, I'm not worried about it. Which one is the right answer? I know you got it. Take care of yourself. If you need more of this, check adapting class. It's content based, the bunch of questions to teach you critical thinking and test taking strategy, especially NGN Gold. All the best of luck.